How's it going everyone Roe here and today I'm really really happy to be waking up to some actual good news and um, there was a developer stream a couple of days ago which I missed because I was away um, and yesterday I do admit that I just played Modern Warfare the whole day and I had a great time but get into the game that I love, get into the franchise that I love and you guys love, Gears of War okay they done a live stream explaining and you can see here which we're about to jump into listen to all their answers, listen to the questions, the, the feedback was given from us, the community, and see what they have to say. Um, I've heard some really, really good news about this. Twitter has been blown up a little bit, which I've been seeing people's articles and people's tweets, and I'm happy because if they're happy, then you can see that they have been given back some great answers. Now, we're just gonna jump in. I saw a video pop up on Twitter, and it was from the guy called Z, and I watched his video, and it was basically, breaking down this developer stream. I'm not gonna go and do this whole stream, but there's a few questions in here that I know that they, I actually posted on Twitter, and I know that a few other people have done it as well, but the impact that it has from a content creator that has played this game for many years, makes content on the daily mostly, and actually cares about this company and cares about the community as one. So guys, if you guys do care about this and you do actually appreciate what they are trying to do and what I try to do for the community then hit that like button let me know your thoughts and opinions down below as always so let's go and listen to some of these questions and see what they've got to say just checking the Andy no giveaways, no giveaways. <laughs> there's no giveaways so where's my skin like where's my free skin you can see that they're intense you can see that they are under a lot of stress right now now all I'm gonna say is okay I'm not sucking up to TC or anything right now um, there's a lot of content creators like me and myself, okay, which have been doing YouTube for a long time. They do care about gears. That's why they still play, still upload, and do everything to this day. But like you, you guys don't understand that like we do give feedback in private messages and uh, also through email and stuff like that. It doesn't have to go be public. Uh, and say there is feedback given from a lot of different different people, which maybe you might not see it in the actual like public, but it could be done through private. So. That's all I'm going to say. Let's jump into the actual questions though. And those or uh, from the work that they did those things. So that could be, I didn't earn my stars uh, to progress to the tour. I didn't unlock some content, various items like that. And usually it'll say like, you know, we're error getting... Mapping. See, now I haven't been getting this problem, but obviously if they're bringing this up, it must be happening to a lot of people. So there must be problems happening around the scene. Uh, different people having different kinds of problems, but people having more of the same problem than others, which it seems to be because I haven't really had this problem. I've, every time there's been double stars, I've been receiving them. Every time the supply drops come through and uh, I get, get content and stuff, it always seems to come through instantly. So I don't know if there are other people having problems with that, but if they're addressing that, then I'm happy for other people. It's going to be getting fixed. Results or something like yeah, that. Error yeah, error getting match results. And then, and, then, and, and, and what we know is, A, that's super frustrating because we know you're putting forth the work, especially with the totems and yeah, things like that. It's very frustrating for us. Yeah, yeah so it is frustrating. I did uh, notice actually someone posted it does. Um, on Twitter the other day about a totem thing saying uh, about the RAM or something like that, that they were, you could still buy it even though you had it. Um, so basically they were trying to take money off you, iron, um, even though you had the character. So yeah, that was a problem. I, I did notice that is to be able to get that message out faster. Right. So like, there's a lot of services that are interconnected. Rewards has to talk to a lot of them. So uh, to get the rewards back, it's, it's doing a lot of negotiating mm -hmm. and we have to optimize that uh, communication. Okay, so because it's a new system, it's a new way, the new game, they've added so much different things. Things are not working to the way that they wanted, which is understandable. I mean, it's not right, but at the end of the day, they are working on it, which you can see that they they know about this problem. They've addressed this problem, so that is the first step. Now they just got to actually work on fixing this. So, at least if we do see some improvements from the actual fixing the totems, the store uh, the items, the double stars, and all this kind of stuff, characters loading up, then hopefully we do see an improvement in the next operation or next title update. But at least they've addressed that problem. So, uh, let's get on to the next question. Okay guys, so uh, in my tweet you can see here I said don't ban me. Uh, basically I was playing a ranked game, okay, and I just got booted randomly from the game. Like it's it's ridiculous. This is a problem that has been happening for a while. I'm playing ranked and I just get booted. So I was like please don't ban me, don't give me a time penalty and stuff like that. Um, people that saw this, it did get to them so they did see this message. Uh, now this is them addressing this message. So. 
listen, we are getting answers, and I want to see what they say. Uh, uh, there's, there's two, two initially, initially, people, if people uh, uh, were perceived, perceived to have left the game, uh, uh, so let's, let's call it a rage quit. Uh, we, are uh, we are giving them a little bit of a, we give them a, 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 a timeout penalty, just, just as a kind of a gentle, like, leading the game for in ranked matches. Um, um, due to these uh, uh, disconnects, uh, what, we've uh, what we've done is we've uh, turned off that timeout penalty. Um, the RCR, the, the rank completion rating, um, is is going to be there. So if you are still a habitual quitter, <laughs> if you're a little bitch quitter, <laughs> suspensions that we, we we put in place, because we don't want it to go back to how the quitting was. Uh, yeah, in, in a way that's not there. there. But, we but we recognize there are people that are leaving and they aren't able to join real quick, uh, quick again through no fault of their own. That's so, what I tried uh, to do. I tried to join back and it was not letting me. And play more matches and continue to complete. You're not going to see, uh, you, uh, you shouldn't see any impact of your RCR because you're going to be working down that penalty. So we're going to be monitoring that because we want to make sure that people aren't being punished. I like that. For something that's I like that. Okay, so problem. guys, so uh, we're gonna what they have asked us to do is, even though the ranking system sounds screwed up, um, you're getting booted, there's having server issues, and all this kind of stuff, is just bear with it, okay? And if you do seem to be getting booted from game, there is going to be times that you do get this issue, which I had, but then it didn't happen again for like another few days, you know what I mean? For And it only happened another one time, so if I just keep playing, and you guys just keep playing, okay? They're gonna to manage to take this on board. That is obviously that, and your account isn't gonna be flagged as you are a quitter, and you're obviously a regular person of doing this. So, um, that's that, that is like the third time since release that has happened to me. But I've been fully booted, and I couldn't join back. So, I mean, if that is a problem that they're looking into again, and it will get fixed and it will get better, I'm happy. We're going to continue to look at that. We're going to look at you guys' feedback. We did hear you on that one. So that one for us is a, is a big Good. Uh, stability, quality of life yeah, issue yeah, around absolutely. that. So, so, so that's great. So, yay. Yay. <laughs> well, we're Let, that let's way. get it fixed and then we can No, but like, no, but like, like let's yay that, like, more the yay about just like the, the disconnect thing. Sure. I know. Yeah. These are kind of soft yays. R is an actor. Okay, yes. Okay, this is, uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous, but I'm glad they've addressed this. So again, guys, last week, I addressed this to them. Me getting MVP, it's got 22,000 views. People saw this, there was professionals retweeting it and like saying this is a joke, this is happening. I mean, I really do hope that they get this fixed, okay? So you can see here, I got MVP, all that kind of good stuff. And we get to the actual points bit, <laughs> and I got negative 1,004 points. So they know about this and they said it's a problem that they're looking into. Uh, they were MVP and they went down. Uh, obviously, uh, obviously that, is that is not the way the system has been designed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so uh, we've identified a bit of it. That one you said you're a little, it felt like it's a little closer. Um, yeah, so first of all, we're really uh, sorry about um, like the, the flaws that have been like shown up in the ranking system. Um, what well, the good news is is that like they're largely um, like bugs, right? So yeah. like uh, we have identified most of them and we're working on fixes. Like the it isn't that it's like pretty much at the end of a game. Um, the results you're going to see are pretty random. So uh, they've basically just told us the truth here. As you keep playing and you get out of sort of the middle, you might get some more accurate results. Um, the good news is that the skill rating is working pretty well, like like for uh, matchmaking. So the matches should be like you should be getting matched with people that are reasonably close to your to your skill rating, but their ranks. Kind of way off. Mm, okay, well, listen, I'm just going to say one thing here, okay? It seems to me, okay, when I'm playing, I don't know about you guys out there, but I need to know this as well because it maybe is just my side, but uh, I want you guys to let me know down below. It seems to me that I always play against people that are decent, okay? And they are always going to give me a good game. <clears throat> and my teammates, if I'm playing solo, are the ones that are very low ranked or something, or they're just not good, in my opinion. I'm not trying to slag people because. There's too much, obviously, I've played hundreds of games, so I cannot tell you who has been wrong and who's been not pulling their weight, but it seems to me like every couple of games, I'm getting really bad teammates. So I don't think the actual skill 
bass making is actually at its finest yet. I think there could still be a tweak. There should be maybe solo searching because I come across stacks when I'm solo. So that's still not fair in my opinion. There needs to be, that has to be a thing. So I have addressed this already on another video. Um, and I also said I wanted, when Free For All comes out as well, there's been people talking about it saying that they don't want Free For All because it's not going to work in Gears 5. But if you just change some of the settings, like down but not out and stuff like that, like people obviously... If you go down, people are as Lancer and taking your kills, obviously that's not going to work. So you have to obviously get the kill instantly. That person gets the kill only. Um, what else? I mean, the maps can work for free for all, in my opinion. If they are pickup weapons for Lancers and stuff like that, um, and the, the, the toning of the weapons and stuff like that, the tuning gets changed down and stuff like that, there's that could, it, that could work. But the ranked, as you've seen there, guys, um, they have talked about the actual ranking system about getting deranked by so much and you're losing points when you get MVP. So they have addressed this and it's a flaw in the new system. And this is why I'm making this video as well, because I, as I said at start, I saw a video from this guy called Z and he said about this. What's like, obviously, if it's working, don't change it, OK, because we had three million people on launch day from the game pass and just the hype was there for Gears of War, it overtook Fortnite and no game's done that ever so we had the people there, we had this game, we had the actual platform and unfortunately we've ruined it okay, all these people are gone, they hate gaming and they're not coming back most likely, maybe some will but only when things are fixed so this is a massive massive upsetting thing for me and probably for the community as well so if we do just actually revert to the older system or if they get this system fixed so you're not actually losing points and if you you are going up to the actual correct amount and stuff like that, then this game could be better. But that is a huge flaw and at least they said that it's a mistake and they are sorry. So, I mean, I, I, I respect them for saying they're sorry and they know it's a problem, So, but it, it's a little bit too late in my opinion. Do you know why it's happening? And uh, we are like working right now, like there's people working on it right now to get those bugs fixed and to like look at how we can deploy uh, one, just a fix to the current season and see if we can actually like get everybody's ranks back on track and then also plan for a deeper fix when we reset the ranks. Yeah, okay, and they're gonna be resetting everybody's rank. <laughs> In the next title update or the next operation because they don't want to do it mid operation because people are still working on their ranks and but even though it's not working but they do want people just to keep playing ranked because it's going to help them and to help their system uh, get fixed for the next time so they do need numbers they do need people playing it they do need all the facts and figures basically from people playing ranked so guys just keep playing ranked don't look at your rank and that's what they advise you to do just play it just because you want to play ranked but don't look at your rank because it's going to be giving you false information until they get this fixed. So that's some advice. So I'm going to take that on board. I'm just going to play the game for fun if I do and then just worry about things on the next update. When the rank and stuff like that. Um, um, oh, here we go. This is a question. I'm interested in how you guys are receiving feedback around introducing classic maps as the addition of foundation. I'm personally all for it. I would love all Gears 4 maps that are ready to be added for the versus rotation. <laughs> And that was from previous titles as well. Do you guys have anything new for us in that regard? Why? Thank you. I mean, I did post a tweet as well saying I want all the maps back from Gears 4. Uh, but the ones that they know that is in this game, Harbour, Reclaimed, Foundation, just put them in the cycle. But basically they're saying is they wanted people to play the new maps first for the first few months. They don't just want them to be adding in the old maps because people are going to be like, oh my God, this is just Gears 4. So that's why they kept it out for a while. But now you can see that they've added Foundation. They will be adding in other games, uh, other maps as well. So time will tell, but that's the reason why they didn't want to do it. Something like, like I, think I think that, you know, we're looking at modifying the Lancer. It's not broken in that, like, the, you know, you can't play. Correct. Like, I mean, I think people are just annoyed with the power of it and how accurate it can be when you've got an active and the stopping power and how strong it is, I mean, and the auto-aim, obviously, it adjusts and you, you're missing your shots, but it's still actually, like, following the character and stuff. I think that's what people are annoyed with, the magnetism and just the auto-aim and the assists. That's what the people are annoyed with, but if it was just toned down a bit, the, the power, the strength, and possibly that would be a bonus. That could help a lot, in my opinion, 
Like, even if we still kept the aim assist, um, I don't know what they're going to do with that. I don't know if they're going to remove aim assist completely, but I do think the actual toggle option, if what they've been talking about is having it on and off, that's not going to be uh, an issue because guess what? People that have the option to do that are not going to do it, of course, because the other people are not going to do it. But it has to be a, an actual full game remove if they're doing it or just keep it and then fix the Lancer with a few problems, tone down the actual strength of it and maybe the fire rate and all that kind of stuff. So that's my opinion on it. That's my opinion. It's just, it's just that there's some portions of, portions of the skill curve, curve in, in some, some modes that, like, like King, in King, you know, people with setup, strong setups, it becomes fixed, hard to break. And so, um, like, like, it's we're looking at modifying it to try to, to, try to address some of the uh, comments that, that we've been getting, feedback we've been getting. Now, that's not to say that it's going from broken to perfect so type of a job before, and now it's doing a, a slightly different type of a job. So, um, uh, with all of these, there's trade offs. Yeah. And I mean, I. I, I uh, one, of uh, one of the things that started with the Gears 4 is that all of the characters have a unified hitbox. So um, it isn't actually necessarily magnetism or adhesion that's that's making the the allows for us. In this case, I was doing this and it didn't yeah. like it was too powerful here or too weak here or I was too easy to get headshots or I keep getting down by it against teams. Like just some texture to it, just saying that it's broken um, doesn't really help us. Yeah, we, that. The puts the analysis on us, and then we're, and then we're assuming, assuming some aspect, aspect that maybe isn't correct for right. to be what you're experiencing. And I just want to address some of the uh, like stuff auto -aim around auto aim again. Like I've seen a video of someone sort of showing like shooting bullets near the Gears Five characters versus the Gears One characters. Uh, I think that was Z. That started with the Gears Four is that all of the characters have a unified hitbox. So um, it isn't actually necessarily magnetism or adhesion that's that's making the bullet are kind of new to Gears. I think in the smaller the character the easier they're gonna get away and stuff like that and if in case you're like ram there's that problem is not a problem um it's because of the obviously the new uh settings and the new magnetism and aim assist that's what they've got that's only why people think that so um they've at least they talked about this and they've explained um and it isn't the same obviously it is different so compared to wrong, gears right? one yeah, wrong in the other games case, right? ROM versus the, uh, the terminator yeah, character yeah sure so everybody has the same hitbox, which means if you're shooting... I've never moaned about that, in my opinion. I don't know about you guys, but that's not a thing that is like, uh, like annoying shooting air, What it looks like shooting air, but it's actually going to be hitting the hitbox. Yeah. So, like, in a sort of a... You know, if we have a little bit of time, we could probably put that in uh, sort of later in the development, but uh, um, it, it just doesn't do all the things that the new one does. So it would just be stylistic. You would miss all that information. Like, you wouldn't know if you're getting frozen. You wouldn't know if you, like, have stim. So um, uh, if people are willing to just give up that information, like, maybe we could put a toggle in. Okay, wow. Okay, so they talk here about the actual tog system that they could make the old omen back. Now guys, I know a lot of you guys are passionate about the old omen, um, but then obviously the new game adapts to the new way that it is, with obviously the ice, with the stem, with all that kind of stuff, the information where you're coming from. But then they said if they got rid of all that information, then there's a possibility that they could bring back the old omen. So would you guys rather have that and have no information about those weapons and about where they're coming from and etc or would you just rather keep the new one the way it is let me know your opinions down below this is a, like a 50 50 in my opinion but i would just play whatever it is like i'm playing the game right now and i'm i'm happy with what it is but if they did bring the old one back and there was no information i would still enjoy the game i'm just a gears freak man i, I don't care what they do when it comes to things like this it's the actual fundamentals that are annoying me right now so that is not my big issue, but I know for a lot of people that it is. But I do have to elaborate, because I used to be a montager. So the montage crew, obviously, don't want all this on the screen, because it looks horrible. Obviously, playing the game on Gears 4, it looked very more clean, obviously, for montages. And since Gears 1, they've never... This is the first Gears that they've done this, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see what they say. Uh, if there's a toggle option, I'm sure a lot of montagers will be changing back to that. And there might be a few OGs that do it. But in my opinion, I'd probably just keep playing like this. Um, giving people the ability to control the translucency of the current one is our priority by a big stretch. That's what I've said. The transparency, I've said. Just tone down the red 
a lot and it will be much better. Um, the other one that we get a lot of comments about, especially if you look at the meta right now, is sort of the, what we're calling the reverse two-piece. Mm -hmm. The two-piece, okay, when I'm going into battle, okay, it's a joke, okay, I managed to get this guy, he kicks me three times before I even get a chance to do anything, bang, 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 three kicks, within a second. The knife is just as powerful because you can go, it's crazy, that needs to get fixed. So let's see what they've got to say about that because in my opinion the, the old two piece bring that back and for people that want to use it and you people that don't like it there could always be a disadvantage to using it so if you hit someone there's a slight delay before you can shoot or melee again because right now that it's it's insanely too powerful and it's too quick and i don't like the new way that you can just shoot and melee someone and they're down within a second so yeah. Is anything you want to talk about melee right now, rather than to say we're looking at it and we'll provide more updates? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, like again, everything we talk about here, like, we will give you all the real sort of information when the when the patches go live. But um, we wanted to launch with something that showcased the new system, gave people a chance to explore it. Uh, okay. It's. Um, we think that there isn't quite the consequence of uh, kind of misusing it right now. So one of the things we want to do is is give you a little more consequence to missing. Yeah, um, consequence to missing. So the other thing is is um, we're also looking at the lunge distance. Just, lunge distance uh, needs to be fixed. Kind of and talking about lunge, guys, okay, the breaker bit. mace is a joke. The amount of videos I've seen that po people posting behind two walls and stuff like that, and it's still hitting them. And the ice bound map, what? You're about 10 meters back and you're still getting iced and you're breaking and dying, dude. It, is, it needs fixed, in my opinion. It needs toned down just a bit. It is a good weapon when you pick it up and you use it and that person deserves to get kills with it because they're using it. But the way it is right now is just a Like, you know, hundreds of talented people working at the studio, the studio and, and um, we, have we have different work streams, work streams that are all going on at the there's just no way to get around that triangle like we can't make it so that you know all of those are always satisfied but we hope that we can kind of shrink the triangle a little bit so but we've talked about a lot of that so that's part of it but I also want I don't want people to go if we roll out when we know roll out a new mode in the next operation or a new map or new characters People don't, people don't misconstrue that by doing one, one yeah. Yeah. sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like those are t like those are very different yeah. teams. Yeah, that's yeah. a great yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, like the people making the maps are not the people building the yeah. services. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, there is lots of stuff going on. So we're going to continue to add content to the game yeah. in, in a variety of ways because you know we're supporting the game, but we want the game to feel like a live, fun experience. But we're also uh, in improving the overall experience of playing the game. Expansion packs. We don't like segment you know people that have expansion packs and don't. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the next operation is going to have new maps, new modes. Like it's going to have a lot of, and and we're not charging for any of that content, and that is something that we're the next operation is going to be big, supposedly, guys. Yeah, and there, and characters inside of the tour that you'll be able to earn. So there's a lot. So there's going to be new characters, new mode. There's going to be new maps. This is going to be the big one, okay? And then obviously it comes out with a new title update of the hopefully some of these fixes that they've been talking about. In, implemented into the actual ranked and into the game so we'll be seeing hopefully the server issues fixed then we'll see the actual connection we'll see the ranking systems fixed there might be new lancer like that might be done by then so listen there's a lot of things coming so i expect guys for the operation 2 to be huge maybe gears to be coming back on their eyes which i'm hoping i hope that this fixes all the problems and people's concerns and it does become a game that we want to play again because I do know right now there's so much people avoiding playing this game and the negativity around it right now is very bad but we just gotta I suppose suck up for a few more few more weeks and when Operation 2 comes out then we can hope that we get a really solid game fixed again Oh, sorry. Char the sorry. Store. Character and skins and inside of the, uh, the, uh, the character skins, character skins in, inside of the tour and inside the store that you'll be able to earn and or purchase, and as well as with their characters. Yeah. It just sounds like fine print. Yeah, yeah. Like, for sure. Nice. But I, I, sure. I, don't but I just wanted to I just wanted to clarify that I did see that, and I I, I did want to kind of just make sure that people understood. Mm, okay. Have you looked at the horde scoreboard? Yes. Iron is not a grindable, like intentionally grindable currency. Iron is a premium currency that is intended to be 
like like money, like money right? Yeah. It's iron is our in-game currency for people that want to buy things. So um, we did put a little bit of it in the tour um, as a thank you for people that like played a ton, and it and it isn't intended to be a grindable currency. Okay. So um, uh, it's we will not be adding it as a as a like sort of an infinitely grindable currency. Okay. But listen, <clears throat> here's a little bit of feedback on iron. Okay, as a massive massive company. Okay. You're wanting people to be playing the game in day in, day out. You want people to be supporting you. <clears throat> All I'm going to say is, why don't you just give a little bit of iron to each game that you play for the winning? And it, like an MVP gives you five iron or something. If you win a game, you get like a bonus of two iron or something. Or if you lose, you don't get any iron. Things like that. Like, can we not just get a little, 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 little bit of iron? Just add it on to kind of feel like you are gaining something. So if you win a hundred games you make enough just to buy one little thing. Like that would give people so much more incentive to play, to grind and to enjoy the game more because you feel like you're going to be getting something at the end of the end of the road, you know what I mean? Like I, I know a lot of you guys agree with me from this. Maybe just a little bit, like just a little, little bit of iron added to your final result or if you get MVP, you get some, um, or if you complete waves of Horde Escape, Little little bits of iron, even one just to complete an escape or something. Let me know your feedback on it, iron guys. Iron is a very very highly to uh, talked about topic because of what it is, but I just think prices don't comparisite to actual items. In so this is the guy I was talking about, the G uh, Z Z I I. Um, I've came across his video, and I said, yeah, I want to give my feedback on this as well uh, because they did answer some of my questions. So. I'm really happy about this because he's given some really, really good answers, in my opinion, and this is another one from him. I understand your question. It is an intentional design choice to not show the opponent's weapons on the back, and this has been something that they've done for a long time in Gears, um, and the primary reason is that the other team, when you're shooting, it looks like you can shoot the weapon. And so, that's weird, like, though. That's weird. It's never been like that in Gears. It's never been like that in Gears. Doing damage like regularly, um, they hid the weapons on the back in previous Gears games, and um, ultimately, we think this is the right choice. Since Gears One, you've been able to tell if it's a boom shot, a lancer, shotgun on their back. You know which weapon you can, so you're allowed to push them or not push them, and you just get a rough idea of what what weapon they're holding. In my opinion, you need to know that. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, we should be just keeping to the same old kind of style of you can tell on cover of what weapon you're looking at, but well, maybe time will tell, I suppose. Because uh, like having that, I'm trying to to get some shots on a guy with a sniping rifle, and you just are sure like, oh, is that his his weapon? Is that his back? Is that his whatever? And, I don't think we've had that problem before. When you see an enemy, like. Um, you know, ideally you can shoot it. So um, having a big weapon stick out the back on the enemy um, wasn't really, you know, going to make great gameplay. Mm. Uh, okay, guys, so yeah, that, that was the developer stream. We've went over some of the majority of the questions and the ones that really stood out for me and obviously the ones I've been trying to talk about and elaborate on and stuff like that. So I'm glad that they've answered these. And all we can do is wait and hope. Uh, but I do believe Operation 2, the next title update, is going to be the big one. I think Gears is going to be coming back to what it should be. Um, there's been a lot of few little problems right now, and just one after another after another, and it just seems like we're not getting anywhere. But this developer stream is very needed, and I'm glad that they've actually sat down, talked to the community, and explained. Now we're getting some answers. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you do want to leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions, then obviously I do read every single comment and I do appreciate them a lot. Hit that like button and subscribe. And I will speak to you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.